Hi, WCF Classic Car Clips. Today I'm going to be fitting a talking diesel power chip to my Range Rover. This is not sponsored, um, not being paid to do this, my own hard cash paid for this. I just want to see if it works. Stick around to the end when I show you the performance figures. First, the installation. The kit comes with a wiring harness like this, which goes about there, just underneath the bonnet. Um, some reusable zip ties, which is nice. A uh, little black bag, and inside there is your digital Delphi. It's about the size of a fag packet. So mine's going into a TDV8, so 3.6 turbo diesel from BMW, and that means you've got a program dial on the left there, which you set to the Range Rover setting, and on the right there you can adjust for the power. There's some switches to turn it on and off, but basically it's straightforward. To get to where we want to go, we need to remove the engine cover and the ventilation unit. So uh, this is easier than you fear. 13mm span on that side, undo one bolt there, whip round to the other side, another bolt there. With those two bolts removed, pull off the plastic cover, it just lifts, pop fit, yeah, put that to the side, and then tug. This is quite scary when you first do it, but it just pulls out. Um, that's all your ventilation unit to feed the car. With that removed, um, you've got a whole lot of space to work, but you can see just how far back the engine goes, and that makes it really hard to work on the back of the engine. Which is exactly where we're going to be working, by those two silver pipes. So from this angle, you can see the wiring loom, the yellow wires on the original, that was unplugged from where that little red wire is now plugged in. So the Land Rover original was plugged into the new wiring loom, and the new wiring loom was plugged into the engine as a replacement. Fiddly, but possible. I then pushed the wire through the rubber grommet into the corner of the engine bay. That's a nice, safe, clean area away from all the heat and dirt of the engine bay, so that the chip itself is kept clean, safe and dry. It's very fiddly, but it is possible. So, with your piggyback chip fitted, you can now put the car back together. So, the ventilation unit, you've got to get it lined up properly. What do you do? It's just a nice firm shove and it slides into place. Okay, with that in place, don't forget to put the bolts on each end. Uh, this side's easy to start with because on the other side, there's a little bracket you have to line up as well. So, I put this side in first. Then, engine cover and rubber mounts. Uh, the rubber mounts feed in from one end and just work your way across. Make sure they're bedded in nicely. It keeps the engine in the engine and the rest separated. Engine cover, just to remind you, you've got V8. Position it, push it down, line it up. There you feel a click and it's done. Job done. It's all fitted. Now we can do the money stuff. This, two tests, not to 70, both times. Private track using Shell Super Fuel. Acceleration from not to 70. We actually went up to a little above 70. I'd say this was a private track. So this is in standard trim. Don't worry about getting stopwatches out, I'll show you the timings after the two runs. So now with the CRD Digital Delphi, uh, it's still get a little vibration at 30, that's changing gear, but it gets round. I couldn't really feel a massive difference, but let's see what the clock says. Hit pause if you want to study the numbers, but the headlines are, in standard trim it took 9.9 .9 seconds, and in with the CRD fitted it was 9.56 seconds. So. A slight saving, but as I said, not noticeable and not significant, I think. The gap timings are how long it took to get from 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, etc. But if we don't get the power, do we get the economy? Well, this was a standard run, mixture of different roads, 27.3, okay, uh, exactly the same road, exactly the same thing, 28.5, one mile per gallon difference. So what do I think of the Tokyo diesel chip? Well, power increase, it made 0.3 of a second difference to 70. Um, it was it was quicker, but I'm not that impressed with that again. And the economy, one mile per gallon. Um, that may well have been down to slightly lighter foot while driving it. It's such a small difference, I'm not convinced that that's enough to justify the cost. So, what was my conclusion? Well, those videos you saw of me fitting the uh, chip were actually me removing it and here it is, packaged up and despite great customer care from the Tokyo Diesel guys I phoned them up, they gave me advice about changing settings etc I didn't get any better performance than you saw on the screen so with some regret I'm sending this back to guys at Tokyo Diesel Okay, WCA for classic car clips